Hey, Dan the Fan here. Just a quick recap of the week uh, in Mercy Athletics. You're going to see some interviews uh, on Monday. The Jaguars scrimmage the Eastern Eagles. Um, you're going to hear from Coach JB and Haley Roop. Haley Roop had three big bombs that game. Uh, the next game uh, you'll see is the E-Town game. Uh, Mercy lost, actually, the first loss of the season. Uh, they lost 2-1. to one. And we're going to talk to Coach JB, and we're also going to talk to E-Town Coach Jimmy Schmidt. And then lastly, uh, the Saturday matchup, uh, Mercy versus uh, South Oldham. Uh, Jaguars took care of business, won 10-4. Uh, then after that, we're going to get into the podcast. And, uh, hey, make sure you listen, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you on softball. I'm standing here with sophomore second baseman Haley Roop. Haley came out of your shell tonight. Two monster bombs when the team needed the most. And against arguably probably the best pitcher in the seventh region. Haley, what would you see up there? Um, I So I went up with, you know, a little more loose than yesterday. I was a little tight yesterday and focused on pitch, pitch selection because she likes to pitch a little high. So I worked on that. So uh, Haley had one on. Mercy was down at the time. Now this was a scrimmage, but we're still we're competitive. We're going for it. Uh, it was Mercy was down too. You had a runner on. Took a monster bomb deep. Then you come back in the fifth, and in another monster bomb on a second pitcher. But at the end of the day, Haley, your defense looked great out there today. Uh, I know you've been working really hard on your defense. Yes. Yeah. Uh, best of luck going forward tomorrow night, Christian Academy. Best of luck, Haley. Thank you. Dan the Fan here with Coach JB. The Jaguars just got done scrimmaging the Eastern Eagles. This scrimmage was a – Coach, you threw it together last minute. Uh, Caldwell County got rained out. Um, tonight you went totally off the cuff. This was not your normal – how you work a normal thing. Your lineup was different. Coach, Jaguars looked good. They did, they did, and you know, again, we didn't hit the ball very well the last scrimmage, so I felt like we needed this. Uh, you know, they got a good pitcher over Hallie Roberts. Um, I knew we would see good pitching. They got a couple of young kids that throw the ball fairly, fairly decent, a little bit slower, a little bit faster. We needed to see that, um, you know, and we adjusted. Uh, Haley Roop adjusted really well to it, hit two bombs. Uh, Peyton Arnold had a couple, uh, had a nice big hit. Uh, Camilla came in there and two RBI hit to the gap. Um, you know, in the infield, I'm still trying to figure a few things out. Um, trying to see where we're at with that to tighten this up a little bit more than where we're at. But our defense is solid. Yeah. Um, I do have to say, Coach, another night your defense did play great. The two runs that uh, you did give up in the beginning, once again, we've said it, good hits, put someone on with the walk, the runs get around, it happens. Uh, but the way you came back from that and the way that Carly Shepard settled down in the circle, the way Lila Blue came in, Coach, I mean, you know, I know Carly hasn't been in the circle a whole lot. Lila has came through big. Um, it gives you a little reassurance as a coach. Yeah, you know, and, and, you know, both of those kids are young. They're freshmen. Um, Carly hasn't pitched in a while. And, you know, I've got, uh, you know, a couple pitchers that are a little bit bummed up, you know, banged up a little bit. And so I went to those to, you know, save my other pitchers for, for future games. Uh, Carly stepped in and did a good job. And then Lila came in behind her and pitched great. So I couldn't ask for anything more out of those two. Yeah. Uh, Haley Roop, a huge bright spot on your team tonight. Two monster bombs, Coach. Um the girl came out of her shell tonight. You've been waiting on it. We knew it was there. Yes. I know you knew that she's been uh, coming towards that, seeing her in the uh, in the facility hitting. I mean, the kid, the absolute power from her uh, came through for you big. Yeah, you know, and, and we've worked really hard on changing her hands a little bit in there uh, with her rotation, and it's starting to click. And once she gets this thing completely figured out, she, she's gonna she's gonna do that all the time. Yeah, uh, Coach, congrats, uh, good win. I think you came out of it fairly healthy. Uh, opening night tomorrow night against Christian Academy. We will not go live, so we'll talk to you on Thursday night back here at Mercy Academy. Best of luck, Coach. Thank you. Dan the fan here with head coach Jimmy Smith. Coach came into Mercy, got a big win tonight. Uh, your pitcher 
is it tainted yeah, spirit? Yeah, tainted spirit. Mm -hmm. Absolute stone cold out there tonight. You have to be happy. Oh yeah, uh, she's a competitor. Um, she's one of the kids that you can build around. Um, she's one that leads by example, and she just she just competes. Um, she's not perfect, uh, but it's a kid I want on my team. Ten out of ten days. Just, um, just a worker. Yeah, Coach, she uh, held a pretty hard hit mercy team to one run tonight. You as a coach got to be happy with that. Your defense, although you had some blemishes, Coach, talk out there. Your girls played hard. Yeah, I'm, I, I couldn't be more proud of this group. It's early. We're going to have we're gonna have ups and downs. I know we will because we've got some seventh and eighth graders and freshmen out there. Uh, but just proud like a, a kid at third base. She's a seventh grader. She competed today, gloved it, uh, hit it pretty hard. Had some good at bats, quality of bats. Um, just across the board, uh, it was a team, full team effort. It wasn't perfect, but like I told them, we just kept fighting. And we're going to have to do that in a lot of games because um, one through nine, we're not the most talented. Um, but we are uh, one through nine, we're definitely a unit that uh, competes. And I'm uh, just, just proud of them, man. It was, uh, that, that's a heck of a team over there. Um, and I got major respect for JB and his program. And, for us to come here and get a win, it really, I didn't expect it. I'm just going to be honest. I'm, I, I believe in my team, but I didn't expect that to happen. Um, you know, facing a kid like Maya Merrill, great kid, but even better player. Yeah. Uh, both, both great kid, but just to just keep staying in there and staying in there and competing with her. Just, uh, I'm just proud of my group. Yeah, because Mercy jumped out to a 1 0 lead, but you guys continue to hang around, coach. And I guess it just shows the resiliency of your team. Uh, this early in the season, uh, as a coach, you got to be happy with that. And I know you are. You're a junior catcher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stepped up huge. I mean, coach, that's what all Two the kids dream about, right? <laughs> Two outs, bottom or top of the seventh for her. Yeah. Monster bomb. Yeah. Um, yeah. What can I say? Yeah, uh, Alyssa, she uh, she had just missed a few, I think. Um, and then she she was on time on a pitch that was her pitch. And uh, we we're very fortunate. We, you know, Top seven, two outs. Uh, that's a moment you dream of. And for her to be able to have that success, I'm happy for her because um, she's a kid that's really hard on herself, harder than I can be on her. And, um, so it's good to see her have that success and kind of give our team a hug. Well, coach, you came into Louisville, you not or you knocked off the manual team, the Clemson down there. Now you got Mercy. Hey, best of luck on the rest of the Thank season. You. I'm sure we'll see you in the tournament. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Day in the fan here with Coach JB. Jags lost a tough one tonight against E Town. Coach, you knew they were a tough team. Um, you've got a young team. Yeah, we do. And you know, bottom line is, is we're just leaving too many base runners stranded, and we're not we're not doing our job when we get in the box. Um, you know, some of my players look look like they're terrified at this this step right here. Uh, we got to figure it out. Um, you know, they got to learn to get in there and battle and, and put up a little bit more fight. Um, I knew after the home run that they had the momentum. Um, and again, the game is, is off of momentum, you know, momentum changes. And we kind of, you know, our shoulders kind of slumped a little bit. And we had the opportunity there, and we just didn't seize it. Yeah, bottom of the seventh, they hit a, they hit a home run with two outs to tie it up. Tough spot, but Maya pitched great tonight, Coach. I mean, KK and let your outfield played some great defense. Uh, I mean, that is one bright spot I can say, Coach, is that your defense is tough. Uh, you did have a tough one there at the end, but, you know, things are going to happen. It's early in the season. Thank goodness, you know, Coach, it's only March. Yeah, and these are little things that we got to learn, you know, and – I think, you know, with our defense and, and our pitching, we're going to be a tough team to handle uh, once we get these kids a little bit more confidence when they get in that box. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the runners we've left on base to this point is, is a lot. Yeah. And, yeah. And you, you, were, you were almost 30 runs in two games, Coach. Um, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's a long season. Um and, and you do have a great group of kids. Yeah, you know, two to one ball game. We battled them. They scoreless all the way to seven innings. Yeah. Um, girl hits a home run. Um, missed her spot with the pitch. Um, it is what it is. Uh, but we've got to learn to dig deep and yeah. come out and battle when it's extra innings like that. Yeah. Um, figure out a way. And we haven't. Of course, they're young, and they'll learn that. Yeah. Um, hopefully, they're going to take this, and they're going to learn from it. Absolutely. Coach, uh, got a tough one coming in Saturday. You got one day to rest, three games in a row. 
you know, you're prepping yourself for spring break. You're prepping yourself for the for the playoffs, the district, the regional. Uh, Coach, best of luck to you. Thank you. Dan the fan here with Coach JB. Coach, uh, 10 to 4 winner today. Um, I think you found a couple, you got a couple things right. You're still missing on a few points, but you got some hits from players that needed them. Uh, so you're turning in the right direction. Yeah, I just got a few players that they got to get some confidence going. Um, I've got uh, several that are struggling. Um, but, you know, hey, look, I told the JVs, it's time for you all to come out here and play ball and show me what you can do because I'm not open. You know, I will start swapping some things to make sure that we're clicking. Um, you know, you got to be able to get in the box and do your job, get the bunts down, put the bat on the ball. And, you know, we just we just seem to – I don't know if it's timing. I'm going to have to go back and take a look at some video. A few of them are maybe a little bit out front, maybe jamming their hands in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, you know, all in all, I thought – you know, we uh, we came back and you know they jumped on us three to nothing and you know my girls they they're loose and they just went out there and did what they had to do. You know, you started. You had two freshman pitchers today. Uh, Lila came out. You had to make a change early. Uh, she's going to come back. I'm sure in the JV game, everything should click for her. Great pitcher, coach. It just you know, like you've said before, it's not your day. Carly Shepard came in. Uh, you know, gave up a home run in the jam. It is what it is. But, hey, Coach, she came back and pitched, you know, five scoreless innings for you. Yeah, you know, and, again, it, this is a kid that hasn't pitched a whole lot in a while, and we're just trying to get her back going again. I think she went to her first pitching lesson yesterday. Uh, so I think once, you know, she gets in there with Asia a little bit, and uh, I think she'll turn it around and get her ball moving a little bit better. So, um, no, I mean, the future's bright for her. Uh, Lila, you know, like I told her, you know, hey, you just didn't have it today, but I need you to bear down, and you're going to come back this JV game and show me what you got. Once again, coach, your defense was just outstanding. I mean, you did have an error from uh, Zabo out and left, but it's going to happen. We've talked about it. The good thing is, coaches, you all did not let that compound into more than just what it was. No, no, and I think she she got a jump on the ball, and I think it just surprised her because it was a it was a hard hit line drive, and I think it you know she was moving, and I think it just got to her a little bit faster than she thought, and that ball was tailing a little bit too away from her. Yeah. Um, so no, it was a, it was a good hard hit, and I think she just. She got the jump, and the ball got to her a little bit quicker than she thought and got on her. But, you know, hey, she didn't let it bother. Yep. You know, uh, she came in here, and she got a base hit. Um, but, again, you know, we got to get some things going. Yep. Um, I got a few spots in the lineup that are struggling, and hopefully they'll turn the corner. Strebel had a fun uh, adventure out there in center today. We're going to probably try to show a clip. Uh <laughs> I mean, hey, Coach, she was right there with it, I mean, the whole way. I didn't get to see it all the whole time, but ball jumped out of her glove and, and went over the fence. So we're going to give her a little bit of heck about it. Uh, but the good thing is she's the type of player that's going to make that adjustment. Um, last thing, Coach, packed house today here at, at Mercy. I think you need to add more stands. It was great to see everyone. You had two former players come back and see you from U Pike. Um, it just goes to show the status of the program. Yeah, you know, the program's building. We're, we're doing good things here. Um, you know, the girls are, you know, they're doing what they're supposed to do. They're they're doing their jobs on the field. And, you know, the, the fans, you know, we can't thank them enough. You know, the kids love when the, the house is packed and it makes them play a little bit harder. And, you know, again, we love that kind of stuff. Coach, best of luck in the JV game, and uh, we'll see you on the podcast. All right, thank you. And welcome into Softball Talk Season 2. This is Take 2 because Dan the Fan did not record. Uh, along with me, as always, is Coach JV. Coach, hey, Dan. welcome in. Special guest this week, uh, assistant varsity and head JV coach Larry Messer. Coach, Dan, welcome, thank you. welcome to the podcast. Um, coach, I... Very interesting week this week with Mercy Softball. Before you all came into our podcast, uh, you heard interviews with me and Coach uh, after the game with players. Um, you know, Coach, you said it two and one. Uh, I know you would rather three and zero oh at this point, or I'm sorry, three and one, four and zero. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, but as I was saying earlier, I think Coach 
you've found, you know, you've got some captains. You've got two senior captains and your junior captain. And while in the preseason, it was a little different. I think now you have found out who your leaders are. And I think possibly that it's going to turn into some big things for the team. Yeah, you know, we got we got three uh, three really good kids out there who are, you know, taking all these young kids we have under their wing, and they're all bringing something different to the table. Yes, they are. You know, Peyton Arnold is a little bit more laid back and mm-hmm. tries to keep everybody settled down. Mm-hmm. You know, she, she tries to be a little bit uh, more fun in the dugout and, and you know – and and I think that helps settle the nerves with some, yep. and and even some of my older ones, it helps settle the nerves mm-hmm. with. Absolutely, you know. Um, so no, you we're figuring some things out, man. Yeah, Coach Messer, anything? Feel free. No, it's definitely Peyton brings a, a different energy than Ava and Maya brings. Where yeah. she's she's so loose in the dugout, and she's, yep. you know, she didn't start our first scrimmage. She but she was the loudest person in the dugout and led the team from that yep. spot. Yeah, and it's. You know, it is a different sense of leadership, but yeah. she's definitely – she fits the bill as a leader, so. No, and I think, you know, Coach, when you did that, you know, it was voted on by the players, you know, that whole deal, and and we talked about it on the podcast. If you haven't, go back and watch that episode. Um, but I think at the end of the day, man, you, you've got a great group of totally of all the kids yeah. from top to bottom. Yeah. Uh, and I think, you know, it's, it's all going to work, work itself out. Um, but Hey, you know, that's, that's a really awesome spot right now in the season that you, you know, you took a loss against an E-Town team that, you know, and we can get into it and I didn't mean we're going to talk about coach Messer, uh, but had a great sophomore pitcher. Um, and you know, they bounced back today. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and again, they were put in a spot early in the season mm-hmm. to where this is where you figure it out. Yeah. Are we going to be able to battle through these games? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we lost a two to one ball game, mm-hmm. you know, at the end of the day in extra innings mm-hmm. um, against a, a pretty good E Town team yeah. who had a really good pitcher. Yes. So, you know, the bottom line is, is we had to learn from that. Mm-hmm. I think we left 18 base runners out there. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't. And, I, and what I tell them is, is you can't let teams like that hang around. Right. You have got to stretch the lead every inning, mm-hmm. and you cannot leave an opening for them because at the end of the day, the home run in the seventh inning would not matter. Right. Right. No, and, and I mean, that's that's exactly it. Because if you put up, you know, you've got to score five or six or seven every game anyway. Right. I mean, that's got to be your number that you got to get to. And if you did that, then the homer doesn't matter, you know. Uh, and, and we can talk. We'll get into more of that. Um, Coach Messer, um, our daughters have grown up playing together, playing against each other for many years. Um, we knew of each other. I don't think we ever – and this goes back, Coach, to what you and I have spoke about uh, in the past is don't burn the bridges 100%, with other people. 100%. 100%. Coach Messer coached um, at uh, Prairie Village yes. for a long time. Uh, and my daughter played at Fern Creek Park. And so these two parks that people that aren't in the Louisville area, not so much anymore, but I think they were just rival parks. I Big mean, time. darn Big near time. hatred, yeah. right? I yeah. mean, I don't even want to speak to anybody from PV. Right. You know, that's not my game. So Coach brought kids up from there for years. And then in the last few years, um, or last two, really, you know, the Madison, my daughter Madison, his daughter Ruby, have begun playing together, not only at Mercy, but with the Freedom Organization. Yep. Um, and, and the rest is history, really. Uh, Coach, your background, please explain it to all of us. Like you said, I started at PV, just rec ball coach, and we had a 10U all-star team. Mm-hmm. Just decided to start helping coach there, and then that morphed into a travel ball team we uh we started we were pb elite and we did that for a year and then we switched to smash house Mm -hmm. and i was we were with the same group of girls for probably four years yeah and then i had my i had my shoulder surgery and i then made a point i was probably done done coaching softball at that point i you know ruby was playing for jb at uh mercy and i i seen that she needed to go that direction yeah and then we made a made a decision to jump to uh, his freedom team yes and i guess that summer we 
we decided to start coaching together. JB asked me to come out and help him, and right. it was a blessing. I, I appreciate the offer. I mean, it's been – we. The more I was on the field with him, the more I realized we have some a bunch of similarities on the way we teach, teach right. softball. Right. And I've learned a lot from him on the hitting side of it because yes. that wasn't my strong suit. So, and it's you yeah, know, it's kind of a you know a match, a good match. Coach JB can come off as, uh, you know, a little rough, a little oh he's a mean coach, you know, yeah. blah blah blah. And, and coach, you know that. I mean, I'm not. Yeah. You know, and, and I think it's funny when you see your. You know, senior pitcher and catcher, you know, off to the side, cracking up, laughing with you, begging you, can we do this? Or, yeah. you know, all that. And, you know, preconceived notions, notions people. Uh, but, yeah, um, Coach, you know, I, I do I, – There's, I'm going to bring up this topic, and it's jealousy. Uh, and, and Coach JB and I have talked about it a lot. Um, and you've dealt with it. In multiple areas uh, beyond just, you know, being a head, being an assistant coach on a high school team as a parent. Uh, I think there's a lot of parents out there that can hear this, right? That's that's why I'm even bringing it up. Uh, it started this this season really with me and my daughter, Madison, um, that, you know, she's playing because me and JB do the podcast. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and, and so I just wanted to I, I want to talk about this because I think it's important. It goes back to as a as a parent who your coach is. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it goes back to is I don't have to worry about that because this man right here will pull my daughter quicker than maybe anybody. She's on a short leash and she knows it. Right. Well, I mean, not, coach, you know, and there's nine of them on that field that are on a short leash. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, at yeah. the end of the day, my job at Mercy is to win games. That's what they pay me for. That's yes. what they expect. Yes. Um, they expect Mercy to to be in the top 10 every yes. year. Yes. And to battle to win state titles. Yes. Um, that's what I went there for. Correct. So and, and all the girls know this. If mm -hmm. you're not doing your job, you're you're going to get pulled. Yeah. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the guy that makes the lineup out. Correct. You know, and, and that's the thing w with Larry. I said, listen, you don't need to worry about all that other stuff. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm the guy that sets down and makes the lineup out. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy that makes the end game changes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, you know, we're going to put the best nine on that field that is going to help us win. And the funny thing is, is, you know, we've talked about, you know, I'm a big fan of the movie Moneyball. Mm -hmm. Larry's a big fan of the movie Moneyball mm -hmm. because we believe in the, the same things. If you put a group of kids on the field that can hit the ball, mm -hmm. you can win games. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and I got to tell you, we got a lot of young kids on this team. Yes. And, um, you know, our defense is really, really good. Yes. You know, and I think the hitting will come, mm -hmm. you know, but as far as, is, you know, and, and I've had people ask me, you know, aren't you worried about, you know, somebody saying that there's daddy, but no, because no. I don't have a kid on this team. Correct. I'm going to play the best kid. That's my decision, mm -hmm. and that's that's the way I look at it. Yeah, yeah. and, and, Co and Larry, please jump in. Don't, you know, anytime, but – my pro my thing is 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 I feel like that I'm a very level headed parent, right? I want to win as well. Right? Yeah. Okay. I want my daughter to play like any parent would, right? Yeah. Regardless. Right. Um, but I also understand that the kid behind her or next to her deserves the same opportunity that she was given as a freshman, right? Right. Yeah. And and also that, you know, yes, she was, you know, three for 12 or whatever it was. Uh, she went home and did swings at night after the game, after she took a shower at 1030 at night, after she finished homework. Because she wants to be on that field, right? And she knows that just because her dad and Jay, Coach JB do a podcast that she's not going to get clock. I I just, there's jealousy out there. And I need other parents to understand that, you know, when you pick a coach like, like let's say a Coach JB or a Coach Larry, that regardless of whether you're friends with them on the field or off the field, it's a total, it's two different worlds, right? Absolutely. And, and, and we can all joke and have fun and talk about the game afterwards. And maybe, you know, 
sometimes we, each of us would have to be a bigger man and say, you know what, 24 hours, I'm not going to even bring it up. I'll talk to coach. It is what it is. Uh, but, man, it just it irks me. And, and, Coach, Larry, you went through the same thing with your former hitting instructor. And let's not name names. Right. I don't even want to get into it. Uh, but he's made some shots at both Coach JB and I, and it irks me. And, you know, I mean, at this point, I think Coach JB and I are friends. Um, that it's a problem. Yeah. It's a problem that people are going to say that about someone some people that, you know, yes, your, your, your hitting facility is for a profit, but let's be honest, coach, you know, you're not driving two Lamborghinis because of it. You know no, what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of free time, you know, the text, how many times have I texted you this week at 10 o'clock at night when we're taking hits in the basement? Right. You know what I mean? Um, so there's people out there, coach, and I know you've dealt with it firsthand more than I have. Definitely. For parents out there, can you put it in? Can you put a bow on it? Can the, you tell the story softly? The easiest thing, the thing that's helped really with Ruby a lot is that she she works hard. Yeah. And she she's working on something every day. Yes. So from, I never have to worry about someone coming up and say, well, she's only starting because, you know, mm -hmm. especially in travel ball, when, when she was only starting and playing shortstop because she's your your daughter. And mm -hmm. it was like, no, that's not the case because I knew as a coach that she shouldn't have been playing shortstop, but it made our team better. Yes. And so I'm sacrificing my daughter's, mm -hmm. you know, the next step for my daughter once she got to coach JB mm -hmm. by putting her at shortstop because it was out of necessity and what was best for the team. So, yes. you know, it there is a lot of shots, and I know it. I, You know, I got friends in the stands that I, yes. they hear stuff and they talk to me. And it, yes. and it's, and it does – doesn't bother me because I know what my daughter's doing and yes. I know what she's capable of. Yes. Now is she struggling right now? Absolutely. Yeah. But she's playing. She's playing a great defense at third and, and as a backup catcher. Yes. And she'll get the bat going. I've got a hundred percent confidence in because I know the kids at home working right now. Yes. Because. Absolutely. And I think that parents out there that are listening, you know, everybody says, "Oh, she's at home working. She's at home working." Let me tell you something. Go three for twelve, right? Like what? Uh, Mad my daughter Madison went through it and I'm you know and I apologize and I'm not trying to to make her and I don't even know if she watches it because she gets tired of me talking about the podcast but I mean coach she is working now I mean yeah, I'm seeing know, it it's it, not like oh I'm 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 doing my and so parents what I'm saying is is hold them accountable if if they're not having the results on the field and you're paying for lessons and you're paying for this and you're doing this and you're running them to this Okay, now now we have to, you know, yes, we're giving them the tools. We got to make them accountable. Well, and that's, you know, you, you brought up exactly what I told my kids after we lost it to Great e town like. right? Yeah. So I looked at my kids and I said, those of you that just come and hit with me one day a week and don't do work outside of there, you're getting exposed. Correct. Your swings are getting exposed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, your swings are falling apart, mm -hmm. your shoulders are collapsing, mm -hmm. your hands are dropping mm -hmm. because you did not work hard enough to to do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you know, my phone, you know, again, you, you talk about my facility. Look, man, I've got probably 20 texts in the last three days of kids sending me video of them working on their swings at home. Mm -hmm. I don't charge people for that. And yeah. I answer every one of them. Mm -hmm. Is, is this the right swing? Am I doing this drill right, coach? Yep. Uh, you know, I struggled. Yep. I want to fix this. Yep. And I, I sat down and I answer every one of them mm -hmm. because I want all of my kids to do great out of there, mm -hmm. whether they play for me at Mercy or they play somewhere else. Yeah, they play at Marshall County and hit a grand slam today. Yeah, that, you know I want them to do great. Yes, yes, yes. Even when I face them. Yes. I had a dad today from South Oldham text me last night, and he said, boy, I sure hope she, she hits a home run at your all's field tomorrow. And I said, you know what? I do too. Yeah. You know, and because I want them to do great. Um, but at the end of the day, listen, if – if the bottom line is is you can't sit in the stands and complain about playing time mm -hmm. if you truly know yes. that your kids are not putting in the ample work. Right. Coach, that that's it. That's that is it. 
That is what I was trying to say. You you just put it put it out there. I mean, that's just the bottom line. That, that is it. And and here's the thing, like as a parent, right? So like let's say you're a mom, you're like you're the team mom, right? Or you're the the team dad or you're the game changer dad, right? Those type of people, which is me, Coach Coach Messer, I'm sure at some teams you've done I know your oh, wife yes. does it. You know, and we all get criticized as those parents because we're doers. You know, we will say, hey, if if Coach JB needs this, boom, I'm your guy. You know, 100%, right? Yeah, uh, but you but you do it for the program. You, right. No, absolutely. You do it for these kids because you're one of those guys. You want this program to be great, just like Kevin Starr. Yeah. He's exactly. got a kid that's going to be coming to Mercy next year. Yes, this guy is doing great stuff with our cameras now. We're, we're going to get into it, but I'm going to say this. that We have the best game changer footage on the internet on, yep. of high school teams in KHSAA. If you are not subscribed to our thing, join Mercy Academy Softball uh, Spring 2024. You can watch our games live. It does not cost you a dollar. Um Kevin today put an outfield camera shooting in. It looked like ESPN. Bro. It's ESPN. It, I swear to goodness, it is the best. And for you as a coach, right, now you can really see what your hitters are doing. Yeah, and, and not only that, but I can also see my pitchers. You know, are we yeah. hitting our spots? How yeah. far off of the plate are we mm-hmm. throwing it? I mean, it is a great view. Yeah. And not only that, but when the ball is hit, he cha- he sets up there with a laptop and changes angle views. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've got five cameras going yeah. on this field. Yes. It, it's phenomenal. Yeah. The, the, and, and this guy is – he why? Because he wants Mercy Softball to do great things. Yeah. So – he doesn't have a kid there yet. No. But he's going to spend every day. And he's also going to Florida on spring break. Yes. Just to do this. You yes. know, so, but at the end of the day, man, it, it's, it's, it takes a whole village to make, mm-hmm. to make this thing happen the way we want it. Yes. And, but, you know, people get mad at, you know, when they see people talking to me, but that's just like the kids. Yeah. Some kids like Ava Reinhardt, Peyton Arnold. You know, they'll come up and they'll talk to me and they'll joke around with me. But I have some in the dugout that are terrified, Mm -hmm. you know. But listen, at the end of the day, just come talk to me. Yeah. You know, and and it'll be the same same way. You'll get the same feeling, you know. But um, I want to get into Larry. Larry, I want to know, like, what are you doing as a dad? And we've talked about this with other kids on this program and all that. Like, what what do you – and Ruby do as far as helping her get recruited? I know she's looking at some schools, um, the Florida area, yes. because that's what she wants to do in school. So what are you guys out there doing to to make this happen? The main thing we started with was we created a spreadsheet because her initial goal was marine biology. Yeah. And, you know, she knew that after college, softball is most likely over for her unless she goes into coaching. But marine biology was her career choice. So we – we made an Excel sheet of every school that had marine biology and softball. Mm, okay. We created an Excel sheet. We had uh, tuition costs, you know, what, what division it was in, all, and every website on there. Okay. And then we're able – we started, okay, well, let's start narrowing these schools down. And we started sending out emails, filling out the recruiting profiles. Yep. And then she was able to identify a few, and she's uh, – and you know we didn't get we didn't get to go to as many camps last year in the winter because she was hurt she was dealing with a wrist yeah. injury yeah so we have our target schools that she wants to go to so I help her with you know the videos making sure we're putting together the right types of videos when she's working out I <clears throat> I usually shoot those videos for her going to an RxD mm-hmm. and then she tweets them out to the coaches and sends out her email we we have a YouTube page that uh, she puts all of her highlights on there. All of her workouts, all of her hitting lessons go are uploaded every every Sunday night to that. So, and so it, that's something I noticed at at hitting lessons, and and I do have a few parents that do this. Um, I tell you, I think Eddie Reinhardt has has every hitting lesson that kid has ever taken in mm, my facility. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I have a lot of parents that don't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, that's huge to to show your kid in there putting in the work. Right. Right. 
and we go back and look at it like you know she's like the slower pitcher that that we've seen a little bit she's like saying now i've it feels like i have more time to drop my hands mm -hmm. and so we go back and look at our videos from game changer and then go back and look compare it to the videos from your, her lessons and uh, what are you seeing differently you know you you showed her something today when she came off after the, i think her second at bat and about you know her barrel uh being flat yeah and she made that change she i mean she had a fly ball out the right field but it wasn't a bad shot it, but it was she wasn't rolling the ball over so right. and you know it's uh she is a student i want to see her get a little bit more more involved in that you yeah. know you know she she does but she'll be sitting at home watching it she's watching game changer and you know so she's seeing other games and and but it's a uh you know and the catching lessons because we've had feedback from college coaches saying i need you to i want to see her working out or i want to see her catching lessons and her overhand velocity because mm -hmm. the last uh coastal georgia camp she was her wrist was still hurting it's first time she thrown in three months and he was like she needs the main thing she needs to work on is her overhand velocity right mm -hmm. so we got the weighted balls from you she's been in the basement several times a week now after she hits she implements that part of the into her game so right. she's she's throwing up against we have big huge mats and a batting cage down there she's throwing in there working on different drills that she's pulled up off offline to work on our overhand velocity and it's it's almost back now so so uh, the, the good thing about all that is is you have f video footage of her doing her hitting lesson you have game footage right so yeah you can go back and look at all of that and compare you know, this is what you're doing when he's pitching the ball in there, and and I'm not throwing it 60 miles an hour in the cage. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm front tossing, right? And and then so let's look at this slow pitcher. You know, what what are we doing here so that you can actually sit down and break that down? And that's it. Listen, that's important for mm -hmm. kids uh, who have programs that do game changer and video to go back and watch what you're doing in the box mm -hmm. yep. break yourself down right that's how you learn exactly i mean it's, and, it's important And if i could just add this and we'll go back to coach um that's something that people that hit with you like i've noticed ava my daughter madison i've heard um ruby i i mean even um uh golly maya sorry they know what they did wrong. Like, they can make the corrections themselves, one by feel or two by the video. Yeah. They already know. Yeah. Because it's not only, like, you're in the cage, you're hitting with JB, but you're actually learning the mechanic, like, learning them, right? Right. Muscle so, memory, so when right? I'm telling you something, mm -hmm. you got to learn to feel that. Yeah. Right? Because when you go yeah. to college, I'm not there. Right. No, okay. absolutely. So, you know, you have to learn, okay, he's saying, you know, I'm jamming my hands into my body. I'm, I'm not getting through there. I'm not getting long through the ball. You have to learn that. Yeah. You know, so that when you start looking at your own video, you go, man, I rolled my hands over because I pulled my, you know, yeah. jam my hands into my body. You know, I changed my hand, my barrel path, my hand path, you know, and, and that's going to cause your barrel to tumble over through the zone. You're right, 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 right. You know, yeah. so that's good stuff. And I think we've even got a group of kids on the team who sat down and watch the games together now, and, oh. and they're they're doing FaceTime so, or something mm, like that, let right? Let me just say, like, um, and this is, you know, all <laughs> inside baseball, and, and people may not care, but we're going to throw it out there. If you do like this type of content, let us know. But um, I know my daughter was on FaceTime with other players after the E-Town loss. Uh, your start, starting, starting shortstop who's, you know, being recruited by a lot of uh, New England D1 type schools mm -hmm. made an error. Yeah. And it was a tough one. Yeah. It was. Um, but <laughs> they are watching the replay and <laughs> the poor girl's like, I don't want to see it. And they're like, just watch it. Just, just get it over with. Just watch it. And, and, man, you know, and I texted Coach right then, and I said, you know, this is a special group of kids that can communicate like that, you know, and we through good times and bad, like a marriage, you know, like, and, and it just, man, it just warms my, that these are like my daughter's mentor. Like, that's one of my, the kids that my daughter looks to, right? Yeah. 
and and for her to show her how she deals with the adversity and I'm you know I'm talking out my butt here but you know that that man that right there is why we go to Mercy Academy right and in you know we always say shadow every school and blah 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 let me tell you something after we have went to other programs this week there is no doubt in my mind that our kids have not only the best facility um and they're only getting better yep the best coaching they're only going to get better because these two guys you know they are not going to stop for whatever right um i'm telling you right now man it's 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 a great spot that you're in um but yeah back to coach larry so let's let's jump back so ruby loved coastal georgia absolutely and and i think you know and i think we've talked about it a little bit on here but you know that coach down there went above and beyond for you all at the camp he did so he he sent us uh we you know we flew into savannah and it's an hour south of savannah so mm-hmm. the the night before he was like what time does your flight get in yes just to let you know it takes us long to get here if you're coming straight to campus you know because our it was we had like a we got in at 11 and the appointment was at two o'clock to start our campus tour so so i just stopping you there coach uh so kids out there you know if you're if you're emailing a coach or you're paying whatever you're processes and you have a coach even texting you saying this is how you get there do this not that blah 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 i think you already have a good idea that you're in a good spot right absolutely Absolutely. i mean that is just like that's number one like i'm i'm sold not i don't even know if madison would want to do marine biology but i'm like hey are they looking for a first baseman right right. (laughs) Right. you know hey larry can you talk to him (laughs) while you're there because that's what I want. You know, if she wants to continue to play the game, right, that is what I want for her. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, this this guy was the camp. They were they're building a new facility. So Correct. the camp was across the street at a high school, which was okay. another incredible high school like Mercy. I mean, yes. their dugouts were incredible, everything. Yeah. So he was in the process of moving all that all the equipment over to that field for the camp. Yeah. Because a storm was coming in and he wasn't okay. going to have time to get ready. But he made a point. About 15 minutes before our uh, campus tour, they did a campus center. They did a, I'm sorry, a campus tour yeah. of the school to see before the camp. Right. Continue. And he came up, found us in the admissions, yeah. and sat down and talked to us till the tour started. Wow. And it's that, you know, told her he was looking forward to seeing her on a camp tomorrow and everything like But it just introduced himself, got to know her a little bit, asked about our school Dude. and the travel team. Yeah. He didn't need to do that. No, I mean, let's be honest. I, but we were like everybody knew when we got there that she was all the way from Kentucky, and yeah. that, you know that we talk about having Ruby talked about having a heater in our dugout, and they were like, "Oh, we need air conditioning in our dugout down here because they were all Georgia, <laughs> they were Georgia and Florida kids." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So she got, a, I wouldn't say special attention, but a lot of people knew, "Oh, that's the kid from Kentucky." Yeah, and you know he made a point on the field to talk to her several times. So let me ask you this, how, because that was your first time meeting him, right? Yes. So how did you get to that point? So how did you all have that communication prior to that? Was it Ruby sending the emails? Did, did coach Messer do anything? How did that happen? So it actually started, uh, when I was in the Navy, a friend of mine, he still lives down in, uh, he lives about an hour from coastal Georgia. Okay. His daughter had just committed. Yeah. And she's, Great outfielder, can absolutely okay. fly. She, he was on Facebook and he saw Ruby's videos and some of the highlights that I had posted mm. just as a parent. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, "Man, your daughter has a really great swing." He goes, "Do you mind if I send this to this coach that my daughter just committed to?" Yeah, and I was like, "Absolutely, please." And yeah. first base, does he? Do they need? Him? Yeah, right. right. I know yeah. a girl, and <laughs> so he was like, "Please have him send me." ruby's youtube page yeah or in, and so we sent it and with probably within an hour he had sent ruby an email i want you to come wow. to my next camp and everything like so, that. so so as far as your recruiting uh stuff you do for ruby what all do you have set up do you so you have a youtube page yes um and obviously she sends out emails yes um what what else we have so we have youtube we have twitter so she's heavy on twitter right. sending out the updates right. from uh you know, especially during the travel ball season. It's- yeah, I noticed, honestly, and let me say this, of, I think I follow a lot of kids on the team. She was one of the only ones that has really been, like, 
putting it out there, like where the team is, what's going on, what yeah. she did, that sort of thing. Yeah. So she does Twitter. Yes. So she does okay. Twitter. So we we've got her NCAA ID. So we we went through we went through that process to make sure that anything that you know D two D three NAIA because Coastal Georgia is NAIA. It, yeah. She does. She understands it doesn't have to be D one or bust. That's not her mentality, and it's yes. not our mentality yes. as a family. Because yeah, I know school is going to be the most important thing for her. Hundred percent, right? Larry. And and it's the same thing in your family. Grades are the most important things to us. You know, we love softball, but you're not doing your stuff. It's not going to do you any good Absolutely. in college. So, right, right, right. So she's 100 percent focused on school and what she wants to do afterwards. Yeah. And so we, I went through and I just started researching everything. I started talking to parents that of, of people that I knew that have already graduated and started playing. What do I need? Yeah. You know, f- to get her to the point where we've done our job as parents. Yeah. Now she has to promote herself. Right. Yeah. And she's, it's still a, a learning process for her. You know, yeah. she's still, I, was, I help her, I look at stuff, you know, mm-hmm. but she's does her tweets now, you know, before mm-hmm. I would make, make sure everything was edited and you take my stupid voice out of the background right. of right. the videos. Right. But it's, uh, it's been a definite learning process. We ordered a book, you know, a recruiting book. So we've gone through all the steps on that. We have a player profile sheet. I think Actually, I think I shared that with yeah, Madison. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, Coach Messer was the one that introduced us to the idea of the player profile and Coach JB. But uh, Coach Messer reminded me, like, we were going to Sanford. Uh, it, you know, of course, we never made it there. It was canceled. We're still going to give it one more go down there. Uh, <laughs> but um, so we, we did. We did a player profile sheet just because Coach Larry uh, reminded us about it. And it's an easy thing to forget. The main thing that I have to deal with, Coach, is my daughter being too nervous to even hand it out. And I'm like, Madison, it it comes down to when you're up at the plate and you had confidence like she did today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because, Coach, and I want to run to it before we run out of time, but they were so loose today. Mm -hmm. It was a different team warming up today. Um, It was, man, they were loose. They were ready. They were, you know, they were confident um so we have to get over that hurdle and i hate to put all of her stuff out there but i think other parents are going to learn from it because i know we're not the only ones right yeah um but so we did it because of you i mean and 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 coach but i think you know as parents you know we need to remind each other of things like that. That was huge. That was a big deal. Right. I do that. My goal was for all the girls on the travel oh. team and her friends to be recruited. I mean, yeah. and the high school team, you know, it's, uh, there's no secrets. I mean, if yeah. I'm holding a secret, that's kind of, that would be <coughs> bad on my point as a, right. as a person. Yeah. So any, anybody that has questions, if yeah. I don't know it, I'll go find out for them. Yeah. And you and, are on Twitter before I forget coach, you're at uh, LMS junior. Elmes Jr. and we, I'll make sure that we uh, retweet his info out there. We'll put it on the bottom of our YouTube page. Um, I will say this: like Coach Messer for me as a parent has been a huge resource for all this. Like everything from like what's your thoughts? He sends me camps. He you know hey now that he's an assistant coach and Maddie's coach, I know it'll be even more. But he'll say, hey, I think Maddie should go to this camp, just like Coach JB does. Mm-hmm. Um, or, you know, put this out there. And I think, you know, it jumps back to parents out there that are listening or kids out there. You know, you, when you get old enough, you can start making these decisions too. Where am I going to play and who am I going to play for? These are the type of people that you want to be involved with. And I say that genuinely, guys. Well, the thing is, too, is – is. Uh, making sure that you're going to, you know, we've talked about all this, but making sure that you're going to the proper camps. Yeah. You know, like you're not just wasting money going to a fundraising camp. Can, can I say this? I mean, there, you know, there, we just got an email and I'm sure a lot of people watching are going to get, got the same email, another fundraiser camp, you know, and when it says Under Armour or Nike or, you know, what a USA softball at the top guys, I mean, unless they're calling you personally, don't take it as a, you know, hey, you know, yeah. hey, we really want Madison there. Well, and here's what three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, and a lot of coach, a lot of parents don't understand this. Like, um, you know, they they sent like the the 
the Top Gun All American thing or whatever. Yeah. So they actually reach out to me okay. and ask me to nominate X amount of players oh. to their All American okay. camp. Okay. So then all of a sudden, parents get, uh, you know, mail. Yeah. That says you've been invited to this, and they go, "Oh my God, my my daughter's been invited to an All American camp." Yeah. No, that was so. I don't do that anymore. Yeah. I just delete those yeah. because all that is is a money grab. Right. You go to that one camp, and then they say we're going to invite you down to uh, yeah. Florida. Yeah. And now you got to pay this thousand right. something dollars to go yeah. to Florida and get an All American T shirt. Done it. I've look, done bro, it. I've so, been that guy. I did it. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, look, I'm the one that that's, that used to submit those names. Yeah. And I just don't do it anymore because it is a money grab. Yeah. For you to get. Guys, listen, I'll order you some shirts that, that says All-American yeah. on it. Hey, Coach JB loves to design things. You yes. can add it to it. Yeah. Yeah. And, hey, maybe a T-shirt idea. Mercy Softball and then All-American. All-American on the back. On the back. All American. And now you got it. Yeah. Um, for 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 nineteen dollars, <laughs> bro. Save you a couple. I don't hundred know dollars, Flanders man. over there, man. He keeps jumping the prices <laughs> yeah. up. Uh, and by the way, shout out to his daughter. I know she's not playing at. She doesn't play at Mercy. She goes to Assumption, um, but she's back in the saddle. And I just saw that that she's playing for her high school team. That's his uh, youngest daughter. Yes, the freshman. Has she always been playing. I thought I didn't think she was going to play. Am I wrong, Coach? Uh, well, so I think. I think if I remember correctly, she she stopped playing last year. Okay, okay. And okay. she decided she wanted to – and Jeremy, you know, you, feel free to yeah, reply. Yeah, in. But I think she was going to go the basketball route. Okay. And she went to a few workouts for basketball, okay. and I guess she didn't like it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, her oldest sister was going to play softball. Yes. And so they started going to softball together. Okay. And then, you know, his oldest daughter decided she didn't want to play softball. But Got the it. youngest stuck with it. Okay. So Jeremy's happy about that. Yeah. He may even start a new freedom team uh, for his youngest daughter. And, yep. hey, listen, all you people that are watching, if he does, you better jump on that. That's the team you yeah. want on. Because, yeah. and, and I mean, he say. put nine kids off of his last team hey. in, in college, right? Hey. And let me all, and by the way, nine great kids. Yes. And, and it, he kept a great like club together, right? Yeah. And and kids that played all kinds of different sports and crazy stuff and from all you know, not just Mercy and Assumption and dude, these kids were from all over. I yeah. never I mean he grabbed them, right? Butler, I mean everywhere. Yeah, you some Ballard it, right? kids. Yeah, 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 all over. Um so let me just say, you know, I'm I'm tickled because he's he's a, such a great person. Definitely a big part of the Freedom Organization. Yeah, still uh, is. Still and is. and his daughter, you know, goes to Assumption. I wish she was a, a Jaguar, but hey, more power to him. Uh, and, and best of luck to her and the family. And I'm just tickled to see. We'll see him out in the high school. Yeah. Uh, uh, circuit. Yeah. Um. So jumping back with Coach Messer, a GAB. Um. So, you know, you, you did coastal Georgia and, and then you get home. Right. And, and so your, his suggestions to you all were to work on the overhand velo. Right. He said she loved the way she hit her line. She was hitting line drives really good. Yeah. And she, you know, she sprayed the ball during the off the tee and front toss. And then during the scrimmage. Yeah. And all he said was, cause they were measuring overhand velocity from short and third over to first base. Okay. And again, which was, is another sign of a great camp, right? Is mm -hmm. when they're out there met, you know, I mean that those are the little things, right? Mm -hmm. That means they're looking right yeah. coach. Yeah. I mean, they're going to measure those things, you know, Hey, you know, I mean, there's, there's a major difference between a kid with a velo of this versus that. Right. So, yeah, and yeah. then her pop times are really good behind the plate. He said okay. she's really quick getting to the right spot, but with a quicker overhand velo, even it's more, even better. Right? Like, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. and then he, it was funny. He called, he called my buddy from yeah. that lives in Florida, and he was okay. like, "Yeah, this." He goes, "It's great." You yeah. know, this is this is what she's she's got to she's got to figure out this part, and everything else was good. And he wants her back at the next camp that wow. he has. So, and we're going to try to make a trip down to yeah. see see them play at some point. So yeah, it, it'd great, be interesting. Man. You know, it's, and she she went up to Earlham with uh, Allison. Yes, they went up together, and uh, Allison unfortunately was still hurt, but. Yes. 
She made the trip. She made the trip. I've heard great which, things about Earlham. It was incredible. Yeah. The I, new field was not only from from Allison's mom, but yeah. you guys. Yeah. Um, a great, I guess, great program in general, yeah. right? So Good brand school. new program. So it's okay. their, their okay. first year for softball. So they wow. they've got all new facilities. Wow. So it's uh, all turf field. It was absolutely beautiful. They just okay. they had their opening game a couple weeks ago. So wow. And but the thing is, Ruby is. You know, I sent this lady emails and, and Twitter, mm -hmm. you know, tweeted or X or whatever it is. Yeah. So she's in the cage and she's killing it. Yeah. Just ab absolutely killing front toss. And the head coach is like, yes, master. You know, she knew who she was wow. before we got there. Yes. And when she walked up, the assistant coach was, uh, Ruby told her her name when she uh, signed in and she's like 2026, 20, right? And because she, they had seen, they came to watch Allison in Owensboro. Lot and so to they be had said seen about they that had seen coach. right and they're a D2 I believe or D3 I think they're D3 so. D3 yeah. um either way man it's uh it's exciting it I is. mean it, it's great to see that you know I wish that my daughter would do everything that Ruby does because she gets so much um and rightfully so right at, at these camps gets so much like instant feedback we just haven't found the right camp, mostly because ours always gets canceled. I mean, we shouldn't put all of our eggs in one basket, but we did for a minute. But that'll change. Um, but, man, I mean, what a great playbook. So, young players out there, um, you know, follow Ruby on Twitter um, or check in if you don't want to. Just, just follow her, see what she's doing, and emulate that to where you want to go. Right. You know? Um, I, I just think it's it's a great thing. And I started, I asked some of the girls that have committed, yeah. and some of the other girls, I'm like, can you send me exam or print out examples of emails before and after camps, ah. before and after visits, so I can, okay. I want to I want to put something together for our Freedom Girls to yeah. say, look, this is a good template for you to use. Yeah. You know, this is what you got to do and get started. So I'm starting to I'm gather some of that tonight. information. Yeah. And it's just you know, getting some of that together because for the a girls. lot of us, you know, Hey, in our 28s and 29s that are out there listening, you know, where do I start? Right. right. You start right here with coach Messer right. and he's going to give you, you know, this playbook, you know, you come to mercy or you join the freedom. You have a question. I mean, I think coach Messer's kind of turning into your recruiting coordinator in a way coach. And I know, you know, that's a thing, you know, that, that these kids at least have a resource to go to. Yeah, and, you know, again, that, that takes a little bit off my plate, too. You yeah. know, I mean, I try to push, I, you know, and I talk to all the kids about recruiting and things they should be doing and, yeah. you know, but I don't, I don't have a kid anymore, so I'm not going out to these camps and, right. and having to do all that. Right. So Larry is, yeah, and he's experiencing the, the camps yeah. firsthand. I, yes, I know the ones that are good camps. Yes. Okay. But he's out there doing it. So, yeah. you know, and I, that would be awesome to, to put something together like a little small binder or something yeah. so that every year when the freedom starts or when mercy starts, we yeah. can actually sit down in a classroom and say, okay, everybody get your pen and paper out. Yeah. This is, these are the things that you need to be doing. Yeah. Yep. And, and hand them this yeah, binder right. or whatever. And, and just let me say this, you know, you want to go to college and you want to play softball, come play for these guys. Let me tell you, because, you know, this is, this is a newer process. Coach is like, you know, kind of putting a ribbon on it. He's brought coach Messer in, uh, you know, things are getting a little different, right. In, in the positive way, let's mm -hmm. just say. Uh, you know, lots going on at Mercy. They bought a, you know, five acres next door. There's a lot of rumblings of some future things. Um, man, you know, and then adding Coach Messer to the staff. And then, you know, now you've got a guy that knows a lot about recruiting. And that's a big deal. It's let's huge. Let's be honest. That's a huge, huge deal, especially for kids out there that might be on the fence. Like, oh, where do I go? You know what? Come to Mercy. You're going to get the playbook. Coach Messer is going to be in your butt about, you know, hey, who did you email? Who did you call? You know, oh, you hit a, you know, you had two outs or whatever. You know, there's just a lot there. 
uh, and a lot to unpack as a parent. That makes me super excited to have a resource like both of you. You know, again, uh, um, your daughter hits a home run today. Mm -hmm. You know, that should be what she be she should be doing tonight. We yeah. we and she knows it. She should now. be pulling that video yes. tonight and yes. sending that out. Yes. You know, every time you do something great in a game, mm -hmm. that should be sent out. Yeah, and, and like I explained to her, I mean, this is inside baseball for everyone, but, um, you know, I know like a lot of – she's only had a couple plays at first, right? She had a nice little grab off to the side today. But I said, you know, clip all those catches at first into like a little three-second little dog and, and put it out there. Um, but, you know, it's just to have someone to remind them, like mm -hmm. a Coach Messer, and I think I'm giving him a new job and a new <laughs> title now. He just found out, uh, but it it just is He's another not reason. Any more pay? Yeah, it's just it's just another reason out <laughs> there for, for kids that are that are listening or that are on the fence. And I'm, you know, we're not trying to make this a mercy podcast by any means. It's not the thing. But yeah. if you are looking, right, come to freedom, come to mercy, uh, and, and just and check this out, man. Check out this facility. I had, coach. We had so many people today. I came up to you in between games and said, coach. You're going to have to get bigger bleach. We need, you know, we need to expand the seating because we ran out. There was yeah. none. It was packed. Yeah. It was a beautiful day. It was a Saturday JV varsity game. Mercy blowout wins in both of them. Um, but just, just an all around great day, a great day to be a Jaguar. Um, you know, I'm excited. I'm pumped up about it today. I, you know, that in the, the jealousy conversation got me a little riled up. Um, but at the end of the day, man, uh, it, it's, you're in the great, you're in a right spot. I think coach, you're in a right spot and, uh, it, it's only going to get better. We have a big week this week in mercy athletics. Um, make sure that you're following, uh, coach JV and I and, and coach Messer. Now we'll put his Twitter out there, but I'm at Dan, the fan KY. He is at KY coach underscore JV coaching the fan at gmail.com is our email. Uh, send us emails, questions, comments. Do you hate the podcast? Are we homers? Uh, am I getting too upset about jealousy and things? But I do just want to bring all those thoughts and things that come out to the forefront. Well, I think it happens at every program. It does. It does. It you does. know, well, why is that kid playing over yes. my kid? Yes. Why is this? You know, and at the end of the day, look, I've said this since Little League. Some people just have blinders on. Yeah. Right. You know, and, and the yeah. other thing is, is, you're not at my practices all the time. Yes. You people don't see what is going on at practice. Yes. People don't see who's doing what at practice. Yes. And you know, That's so true. at the end of the day, those are my decisions and I'm I'm always going to play who's going to help the program win. Yeah. And so yeah, I wouldn't worry about that stuff, you know, and you, you other people out there you know, if you if you're sitting there and you know why is little Susie playing? You know, at the end of the day, talk to your kids and say, "Hey, are you working hard at practice?" Yeah. You know, and then it's never wrong, mm -hmm. like you say, twenty four hour rule, to reach out. Not you reach out as a parent, but for that player to come up and say, "Hey, hey, what do I got to do to get extra you. playing time?" Thank you. Right. That's it. Um. Huge week. I just said that, but uh, we have the triangle this weekend coming up at Mercy yeah, Academy. Yeah, that's always uh, a good. One. We have uh, Henderson County coach Shannon Troutman coming in. We're going to do the podcast out there uh, at the game. I'm, I'm hoping to get to sit down with Coach Troutman uh, and really kind of talk to him a little bit about you know where they're going. I know his daughter is is either heavily recruited or is in college now. I need to talk to him about that. Um, and then we have great crossings coming in, which yep. is another great program out of yep. Georgetown, Kentucky. So, um, a huge week next week in mercy athletics. We go to Butler earlier in the week. So we got a, a regional game, game, regional game, regional game coming Thank up you. against Butler. Um, a nice little early regional game. Butler has a new coach. Um, hoping to get to talk to her as well. Um, so just a lot going on. This is the busy time, right? Uh, Coach Messer, I really enjoyed having you in studio. I hope to do it again. Um, Appreciate the invite. Parents out there, you know, if you have recruiting questions, I would love to do this again and, and get a little more in depth. 
um, and, and maybe talk about this packet and, and what, what is in there. Uh, I just, it's, it's, uh, it's really awesome. Make sure you follow Mercy's Game Changer. Um, Kevin Steyer has done a fantastic job. Uh, coach, you're lucky to have a parent like him. Yeah, um, the, the over the shoulder look from outfield is fantastic. Uh, look at it. Um, let us know. Uh, make sure you just have to go in there and click that I'm a fan. You'll be let in. You'll be able to see everything. Um, lastly, next week. We're going to actually mic up. I think we're going to try Maya Merrill, our uh, senior pitcher, and Peyton Arnold, our senior catcher. Uh, they're going to do a bullpen session warming up. And it uh, should be a good treat for everyone to see a couple crazy high school seniors and uh, what they're like. They're begging me for it. So uh, we're going to do that as well. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you for everyone for liking and follow. Please like, follow, subscribe, click all the things. And uh, we will see you all next week on Softball Talk. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.